Liberty Varn is publishing a, a six-volume edition of his com Bastia, Frederic Bastia's complete works. Uh, it's an important uh, initiative that many will benefit from, but above all, the French will benefit from because uh, Frederic Bastia's works have not been republished in French. So um, there have been some uh, occasional reprints of his famous. Uh, uh, essays uh, on the state, the law, and um, a few others, but uh, the whole corpus of, of his writings has not been uh, in print in France for a long time. So, uh, first and foremost, the French will benefit from reading Bastia in English. Uh, they will have to do it in French again. But this is a monumental new edition of uh, someone uh, who has played a, a tremendously important role in the history of economic liberalism in the 19th century. This is someone who uh, swam against the current in the French context. The French, including the person, the person about whom we just spoke about, Kiso, uh, have always been known for promoting reforms through the state. So there's been always an infatuation or an admiration for the state in the French political culture that has uh, and never been replicated uh, in the Anglo-American political tradition. Uh, we tend to be skeptical of the state here in France. Uh, there's a kind of uh, emphasis and trust that we put on the state to do certain things that in America or in England, civil society takes care of. Bastia was firmly in this Anglo-American tradition. He thought that the state uh, is uh, a fiction that people try to use in order to live uh, off the back of others, at the expense of others. So it's, um, it's someone who has played a tremendously important role in the history of economic liberalism. He wrote in a popular style. Most of the, the, the texts that have been included in the first two volumes uh, that appear to date in this uh, series um, are written in a very uh, loose and uh, you know, easy style. He wrote pamphlets. He was an economist who knew how to write. Uh, after all, economists today only deal with equations, whereas Bastia, who knew very ex well uh, economic details, was someone who was able to convey his ideas to the general public. And uh, he did it in a very forceful way. So here is again someone who addressed important topics, swam against the current, was a, a, a bit of a lonely figure in the French political culture. Not the only one, there were others around him, but they were certainly in minority in 1840s. Uh, he died unexpectedly, somewhat uh, mysteriously in 1850. At an early age, he never managed to uh, complete his, his works. Probably he would have been horrified by the turn of events during Napoleon III reign and he would have seen his ideas only more vindicated. But I think history has um, vindicated Bastia's ideas. Uh, he has been um, uh, an inspirer to some of the 20th century economic liberals and some libertarians, such as Friedrich von Hayek and Ludwig von Mises, who knew Bastia well and drew upon his works. And I, I guess Bastia deserves uh, clearly uh, a full-fledged uh, edition of his complete works and I'm grateful that Liberty Fund has undertaken this task.